Hello and welcome back to First Chapter. I know what I have to do, where I have to go, and who I have to talk to. Let's go back to the warehouse district on the south block and talk to this guy. What's a bunch of little kids doing here? Hey, this place is off limits. You brats ain't getting in, so scram. We never even said we wanted to come in. But mister, why do you look so nervous? You can tell. Never mind, you're not allowed here. Just go already. I think we may need to handle this one with some care. Well, he's sure acting strange. I wonder what's up with him. Now I think I'm going to be stopped if I try to leave. Here we are. Hold it, you lot. Who, us? Well, well, must be our lucky day. Not too many women folk come around these parts. You're real cypher sore eyes. And what business have you here? <laughs> oh, this and that. We've been here for quite a while, actually. If you honey's got time to spare, how about you entertain us, huh? I, uh, are you seriously trying to pick up girls in an empty old warehouse lot? Sorry, but we have plans already. You know, places to go, things to see. So yeah, not interested. Feel free to go away now. Oh, check you out. I like tough women. I'll take all the abuse you can dish. If your goal was to creep me out even more, consider your mission accomplished. Hey, you know, if you ladies are playing tourists, then maybe we could show you around, huh? You can ditch that little kid with you, and we'll have some fun. Hey now, who are you calling a little kid? Punk's like you couldn't take on Joshua if you- It's okay, Estelle. It doesn't bother me. What good is getting angry going to do? But- Uh, you holding back for our sake, kid? How sweet. Where does this brat get off, hanging around with two hotties? <laughs> I think he needs a lesson in just how unfair life could be, don't you think? Just a second. Please stop. If my presence has somehow offended you, then I apologize. But if you lay a finger on the ladies, I'll make certain that you regret it. What? Just who do you think you are? He's just bluffing. I get that you want to look all cool in front of the ladies, but you're about to experience a world of pain. What do you think you're doing? Uh, oh great, another nuisance. I can't believe you guys would start again with this delinquency. You're old enough to know better. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Sh shut up. What do you care what we do? You're just one of the mayor's yes-men. How dare you denigrate my work? How dare you indeed. Gilbert is a valuable member of my staff. D Dalmore? Boah. Whoa, who's that? He's way too well dressed for this part of town. That's Dalmore, the mayor of Ruan. And the younger one is Gilbert, his private secretary, I think. Ruan has always been a free city. I have no intention of lodging a complaint about your manner of speech or your attire. But bothering outsiders, who may be paying guests, is not permissible. Stuff it, old man. You think you're such a big shot. We ain't interested in a thing you have to say. How dare you speak to the mayor in such a fashion? How would you like for us to report you to the Bracer Guild again? Hmm. <laughs> Bracer Smasher. Always hiding behind them. Can't you do anything on your own? Besides, it's not like the Bracers would get here right away. We'd have plenty of time to enjoy the altercation. And then we'd be gone without a trace before anyone was the wiser. Um, I hate to ruin your masterful plan, but I'm afraid we're already here. Wait, what? Man, you mean you still haven't noticed the badges? Maybe you guys see classes or something. With great deliberation and exaggerated movements, Estelle pointed out the bracer emblem on her chest. She then raised her eyebrows for further emphasis. Aw, oh, crap. You guys are bracers? So wait, this little punk you're with is also a bracer, yes. What do we do? I can't believe this little squirt is actually a bracer. You're actually worried. Even if they are bracers, it's just a couple girls and some kid. Dumbass, you can't judge a book by its cover, you know? You remember what happened the last time we took on a chick bracer? Even with the three people, she wiped the floor with us. Going up against two bracers, even if they do look like pipsqueaks, is totally not a good idea. Uh, okay, we're going to let you off the hook for now. If we see you again, though, 
You'll be in for some real pain. Catch you later. <laughs> you can still see their character models at the top of the screen. <laughs> Jeez, now those were punks. I mean, could they be any more stereotypical? Eh, uh, no harm done. And don't we have somewhere we need to be? I must apologize. I loathe when our city's guests are bothered. Forgive my lack of an introduction as well. I'm Talmor, Mayor of Ruan. And this is my steward, Gilbert. A pleasure, I'm sure. You are bracers, are you not? Yep, I'm Estelle from Roland. And I'm Joshua, also from Roland. Sean did mention some promising new faces soon to arrive. Might he have been referring to you, perchance? <laughs> well, I don't know about the promising part, but yeah, I think he meant us. We came to Ruan in search of work, actually. Oh, how delightful. We've had some hard times of late, you see. So any help we can get is simply wonderful. I'm sure your presence here will be a great boon to us. Hard times? What do you mean? Well, Jean would be the one best able to supply the details. As an aside, is that a campus uniform, my spy young lady? Yes, sir. I'm Chloe Renz. I'm a second year student at the Royal Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charmed. Dean Collins is a friend of mine, actually. Hmm. Didn't you graduate from the Royal Academy yourself, Gilbert? Yes, sir. You said your name was Chloe. I've heard a great deal about you. You ran against Jill for head of the Soon Council, right? You must be proud to have been a contender as a junior. Oh, you flatter me, sir. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the campus festival. I trust you'll be giving your all to make it a memorable one, no? Yes, sir. I absolutely will. Well, I think we'd best be going. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. It is my duty as mayor of Ruan to ensure that these streets are safe for tourists and residents alike. Well, he was certainly a dignified one. Yes, indeed. His manner and actions were perfectly suited to the mayor of a city. House Dalmore is made up of a long line of well-bred aristocrats. Though we no longer have real nobles, he's about as close as one gets. Wow, it's like he's from a totally different world. On the other hand, though, you still have all the lowlifes, like those guys who tried hitting on us. Yes, that was quite unsettling. I'm very sorry for leading you into such a place unprepared. No need to apologize. It's not like we sought them out or anything. We should probably keep our distance from the back end of the warehouse district, though, to avoid any further altercations. Eh, well, I don't like being restricted like that, but whatever. Alright, back to the guild. I'm sure our receptionist will be available now. Come on in. Welcome to the Bracer Guild. Hmm? Oh, Miss Rins. Good afternoon, Jean. Are you here for another extermination request? Uh, I know. Security is being tightened for the campus festival. No, but I'm sure we'll be here for that at some point. Today, I'm just visiting with Estelle and Joshua. Oh, I see. So they're civilians, are they? I suppose I should have known by the lack of student attire. Wait, those emblems. Pleased to meet you. I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. And I'm Joshua, also a Junior Bracer. Oh, so you're Estelle and Joshua. Wow, it's so good that you're here. We've been waiting for you, ever since we got word from the Bose Branch. Ah, old man Lugren must have sent word of us. We'll have to thank him. My name is Jean. I'm the receptionist for the Ruan Branch. I'll be supervising you two, as well as providing various types of support. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. The pleasure's all ours. Indeed, it's good to meet you, sir. <laughs> I have high hopes of you two. After all, you were the ones who so magnificently handled the Sky Bandit incident. Sky Bandits? You mean that incident in Bows? I read about it in the latest Liberal News. Did you guys really sort that whole mess out? <laughs> well, we just helped a little. It was the Royal Army that really did the work of apprehending them. Don't be so modest. Logren had nothing but praise for you. Now, to change your assignment, I'll need you to sign the, pro the appropriate forms. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. Um, okay. Might as well get it out of the way. Estelle and Joshua signed the assignment change forms. Alright, the two of you are now part of the Ruan branch. Welcome aboard. We've been so busy, you couldn't have picked a better time to come. Ha <laughs> now you can't get away. Why do I feel like I just signed my life away? 
It looks like you're as short-handed as we heard some time ago. Is something in particular going on? I wouldn't say that exactly. We are expecting a member of the royal family to visit, though. A member of the royal family? Hmm. Whoa! You aren't talking about the queen, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. I just know that it's someone of royal blood. I've heard that he or she will be giving Ruan a thorough inspection, though. Huh, that's kind of cool. But why would that cause you to be short-staffed? Because it's a member of the royal family. If even one thing is out of place, Mayor Talmor will be worried sick. So, most of our staff was requisitioned to help strengthen security. I get it. That's what was being discussed upstairs earlier. Policing the streets, right? Yes. I feel certain that the crew at the harbor will be back in action pretty quickly. I want this city to be hooligan free during the royal visit. Crew at the harbor? You mean the guys we dealt with earlier? Hmm. I had the feeling they were up to something. What? Do you know something? Actually. So and Joshua described what had transpired outside the warehouse district. Ah, uh, yes. The warehouse district. That's the turf of a rather unsavory group calling themselves the Ravens. I imagine you encountered some young men and their leader there. Huh. I wonder what those Raven characters are up to. They've been fine until recently. Whoever's in charge needs to tighten the leash. The mayor's main concern, though, is that we cover the whole area. And that's why we're so short-staffed right now. Thank goodness you two are here. <laughs> well, it's nice to feel wanted. I guess that means we've got a lot of helping out to do tomorrow. If anything happens, just say the word and we'll help. I will. Thank you. Wow, it's already evening. Look at that gorgeous sunset. That it is. All the light shines off of the streets. <laughs> I've always loved it too. Oh yes, it's almost time. For what? Oh, the bridge is going to go up. <sighs> that really is a masterpiece. Uh, how long does it stay up? 30 minutes, I believe. It's raised in the early morning, just before noon, and in the evening, and it isn't lowered again until all the ships have passed. I see. So that's when there's usually no foot traffic. Hmm. <laughs> I admit, it's easy for a first-timer to get confused. Oh, that reminds me. What are you planning to do about lodging? Hmm. Well, the second floor of the guild is always an option. Although, I could really go for a luxurious hotel. Well, then I think you might want to hurry and get a room. This is tourist season, so they tend to fill up pretty quickly. Alright, no time like the present then. Yeah, let's go! Alright, to the hotel we go. Which is right here on the north side. In here, this building. Hello, welcome to the Hotel Blanche. Do you have a reservation with us? No, but we were hoping that... Do you have any rooms available? Impeccable timing, sir. We just had a cancellation for the room on the top floor. If it pleases you, I can show it to you now. A penthouse, huh? That could be nice. But isn't that going to be expensive? Since it's empty due to a cancellation, I'd be happy to charge you the standard rate. Not to mention, you appear to be bracers. I'd consider it an honor to serve you for all the hard work you do in protecting our citizens. Huh. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, how can we refuse? So, yes, we would like the room. As you wish, sir. Well, that was a stroke of luck, wasn't it? Anyway, I think I'll go back to the campus for the time being. I won't make it back before the dorms are locked up if I don't hurry. Oh, right. You said you could only stay until evening. Hmm. Well, I hate to see you go, but I understand. Would you like for us to escort you back? Hmm, it's alright. I know the way. Thanks for letting me come with you today. <laughs> oh, come on. We should be thanking you. Yeah, we really appreciate you playing tour guide for us. Oh, it's so big deal. And you two are going to be in Ruan for a while, right? If you are, I was hoping you'd come to the campus festival at the end of next week. A festival? Given the Royal Academy's reputation, I'm betting it's more than just balloons and party games. Yes, it's an independent academy-sanctioned student celebration. It's a major tradition, really. 
Okay, now you've got my attention. Will it have stage skits and food stands? Will it have chocolate covered palms? <laughs> Maybe. They really pull out all the stops. Oh yeah, I'm so there. Um, I mean, I'd love to join you for the preparations. Now hold on, Estelle. Did you forget how busy we heard the guild is? Man, that again? Ah. Still, I guess it can't hurt to take a break on the day of the festival. But until then, we've got work to do. <sighs> well, if you'll both pardon me then. I'll see you again soon. Sure, see you later. Be safe. She's such a sweetie, and she's all dignified. If I were a guy, I'd be completely wrapped around her finger. Your painfully obvious illusions aside, she certainly seems to be a genuinely nice, guileless girl. Definitely not like some sneaky sky bandit I could mention. Meeting her sure was lucky. We even got a sweet room here thanks to her advice. I'll bet we could even spot Sieg with the view we have up there. <laughs> you might be right. Well, how about we take our bags up to the room? The penthouse room, you mean? Alright, but first, let me save. And give me one minute. I'm gonna go check on something again. Alright, continuing on. Let's check in with the guild real quickly. Gold Seaside Away Monster. This is the thing we killed on the way into town. So let's talk to Jean. So, uh, there's the hidden quest lighthouse monsters. And, oh, we also got paid for that uh, incident at the Chrome Pass. Thanks, Sean. So let me look, uh, I should have looked right then, but our Bracer score is 129, which is the maximum for this point in time. Perfect. Just wanted to make sure I got all that out of the way before we continued on with really starting to do jobs here in the Ruan region tomorrow. And I don't think there's anything too interesting else going on around town. Plus, you can't even get to uh, the south side. And, yeah, just confirming that that thing doesn't have a readable plaque. I thought it did, but maybe they add it later. Maybe it's in the next game. Or I could be super imagining it. Right. Wrong place. Not the guild. That's where we're not staying. We're going up to the penthouse. At the Hotel Blanche. Wow! It's enormous! And this is just the pet room. Not only the top floor, but an all-health suite. I would have been just fine with a regular room, though. Well, I think we should enjoy it while we can. Wow, it even has a balcony. Yep, and check out this view. I just hate that we're the only ones who get to enjoy it. I was hoping that Dad would be here. Yeah. I wonder where he is and what he's doing. Well, well, isn't this all posh? What was that? It sounded like it came from inside. It's spacious and well appointed. Hmm, yes, I like it. I'll take the room. Just wait a moment, Your Grace. I'm afraid that this room is not vacant. Perhaps you can stay at the mayor's estate as originally planned. Hmm, Philip! I can't even see the water from there. This hotel has a much better view, and I can smell the sea air as well. I can even go out onto the balcony. Who, who are you people? Are you thieves? Are you here to kill me? That's a horrible thing to assume about someone. Besides, who are you, old man? You have no right to be in here. How dare you call me old man? Hm, very well. So you are the ones renting this suite. I'm going to be using it as a private room during my stay in Ruan. I suggest you leave. Say what? I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't see any reason we should have to leave. I think we deserve to hear an explanation. But I shouldn't have to deal with you ignorant commoners. Do you not realize who I am? Nope, no clue. All I see is an old man with a weird looking head. Weird? There's no reason to be rude, Estelle. 
at least say unique or something a little more positive. Oh, I get it. It's all in how we say it. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Clean out your ears and listen well. My name is Donin von Oslis. I am nephew to Queen Alicia II, granted the title of Duke by Her Majesty herself. Hmm. <laughs> I see your astonishment has robbed you of the ability to speak. But that's to be expected. What more reason do you need to give up the room? Bah. <laughs> You're hilarious, old man. I'm dying here. You're supposed to be the queen's nephew? <laughs> Still, it's not nice to laugh like that. Maybe he was just telling a joke, you know, to ease the tension. You... you... Please pardon my interruption, but his grace speaks the truth. Huh? Perhaps I should have been quicker to speak. I am the Duke's personal butler, Philip. He has been under my care since the time of his birth. Huh. Um... I assure you that all of this is true on my honor. The man before you is indeed Duke Dunnan, nephew of Her Majesty the Queen. I can't believe it, but... Never mind the weird rich-looking guy, but the butler seems legit. I'm suddenly reminded of something John told us. He said that royalty would be arriving in Ruan to inspect the city. <laughs> Will you submit now? I am next in line to succeed the throne, and you should be honored to give me your room. Such an opportunity is afforded to commoners quite rarely. You... you've got to be kidding. You may be royalty, but to me, you're just acting like an arrogant old man. Miss, please, you must wait. Huh? Please, hear me out for a moment. Pardon my impertinence, but I would like to ask you for a favor. Could I persuade you to relinquish the room? The elderly butler produced a large sum of Mira from his breast pocket and presented it. M Mr. Philip! You do that? His grace is the type of man who will not be swayed once he has begun speaking. I fear this trait may even be due to negligence on my part. So please, please... The old butler bowed his head before selling Joshua. <sighs> well, I guess that's that. I don't want to cause the butler any trouble. You can have the room. And you don't need to pay us. B but it's fine, really. He really is a little too fancy for us. I'll bet looking after that guy is a hassle, but hang in there, okay? Madam, you have my deepest gratitude. What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing important. Please pardon our intrusion. We will give the room over to you. <laughs> ah, you will? <laughs> if only you'd been so humble to begin with. You do well to retain that mindset in the future. Oh, what a total jerk. Now if you'll excuse us. Really? Even if you'd explained your situation to the Duke, he probably still wouldn't have taken no for an answer. I'm really sorry that you had to deal with that. It's really no big deal. If there's anyone to blame, it's that selfish Duke guy. That said, do you have any other rooms? A regular room would be just fine. Well, I'm afraid we just booked our last room a short while ago. Uh, I think we just got played for suckers. No need to fret. We are at fault here. I will see to it that arrangements are made for you elsewhere. Yo, what's the deal here? Hey guys, haven't seen you since the Sky Bandit hideout. Niall? Good evening. I wouldn't have expected to see you here. Look who's talking. I didn't think you two would show up in Ruan. Anyway, what's up? You got problems? Well, I saw Joshua explain the recent turn of events. <laughs> you two get into the damnedest situations. Ahem, this is not a laughing matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't get your knickers in a twist. You can stay in my room. Huh? My room has some extra beds. A clerk or concierge or whatever. You don't mind, do you? Not at all. In fact, you'd be helping me immensely. Sounds like a plan, then. The room's on the basement floor. Follow me. Um, are we okay with this? Well, he offered, so it should be alright. He may want something in return for this, though. Probably something way out of proportion, I'll bet. But I guess we're kind of stuck. 
Let's see. Here we go. Ah, good, you're here. Grab one of the unused beds and make yourselves at home. I appreciate you giving us a place to stay and all, but the gracious host thing is a little much. Oops, sorry if I'm acting suspicious. I'm just grateful that you guys helped me nail a great st story earlier. I just wanted to pay you back, is all. You mean the Sky Bandit article, right? Did it get much of a reaction? Oh yeah, it was a big hit. Our readers love that article on Colonel Richard and the Intelligence Division. I get the feeling that we sold more copies because of him than the Sky Bandit incident, to be honest. Huh? Is he really that popular? Rumor has it that he's about to get a big medal from Her Majesty. It's getting to be just about all people will talk about. I'm actually going to have an exclusive interview with him. That's impressive. Well, he's got the looks and brains to his credit. He's put people at ease. That's all. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing to worry about. That story netted me a tidy little bonus. Let's hear it for finally getting rid of my bad luck charm. The colonel's one heck of a guy. By bad luck charm, do you mean Dorothy? Speaking of whom, she's not with you? I was only looking after her while she was learning the ropes. That big story meant the end of our, mi of our mighty team. Hmm. Still, it worries me to think she's gone off on her own. I'm kind of trying not to think about that. I just want to enjoy a nice vacation with the bonus I got. Shouldn't you be chasing the next big scoop? Or are you checking out that Duke guy who kicked us out? Ha, <laughs> Duke Dunnan. Our own walking catastrophe. From everything I've heard, he's a real hedonist. More so than most royalty, anyway. Rumor has it that he even drives Her Majesty up the wall. Sounds perfectly believable to me. But he said that he was next in line to succeed the throne. Seriously? I don't want to have to call that fat jerk my king. Well, given Her Majesty's age, it's not unreasonable. Plus, there's the fact that her son died some time ago. A lot of people would be opposed to it, though. I'm guessing you don't know much more than we do. Which would mean you're chasing a different story, right? Ha! Bullseye! Man, I can't seek anything past you kids. Yes, you're right. But that's all I'm saying. This one's just too big. You don't think you're overstating things a little? But hey, whatever. It's not like we'd go shouting it from the rooftops. I look forward to reading it for myself. Oh yeah, just leave it to me. By the way, have you two had dinner yet? Let me take you out and treat you both. Seriously? Thank you very much for your generosity. That night, Niall bought dinner for his son Joshua at the casino and bar called Lavendar. After a meal consisting of some of the best seafood from Azalea Bay and drink in Niall's case, the two brought the now unconscious Niall to the hotel and set him in his bed to sleep it off. <laughs> I suppose having this much sewing to do is proof that the children are full of energy. Well... It'll all wait until morning. For now, I'd best get some sleep myself. Please watch over them tomorrow, Adios. Keep them safe. What's that noise? Sounds like someone put wood on the fire. That smell. It can't be. Wake up, everyone! What? I didn't do anything! Huh? Clem's still half asleep. Daniel! Polly! Wake up! Hmm? What's going on, Major Teresa? I'm kind of scared. There's a fire! Everyone up! What? Really? We're going downstairs, now! Everyone stay close to me! Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> it's all smoky. I'm scared. Mm, sleepy. Come on, hurry to the exit. Uh, uh, no. Great Adios. I don't care about me, but protect the children. Room 
Ruan the following morning. Ugh. Oh man, my poor aching head. That must be one heck of a hangover. It was kind of impressive the way you drank the whole bar though. You sure you're okay? You want some water or the bucket again? No, I'm good. I've got an event to cover. Oh really? Well, thanks for taking us in yesterday. We're both very grateful. Just pass on anything interesting you hear to me. I'll be in Ruan for a while too. Okay, see you later. Oh, goddess, why is the light so bright? And he fades away. Well then, what say we head to the guild? Fine by me. We can see if John has any work for us. I'm sure there's nothing to do. Certainly, we won't have to investigate the corpses of some burnt orphans. Alright, we got warehouse key from Harg. I lost my warehouse key somewhere and I really need it. Please find it ASAP. For details, come see me at the harbor. Find the prototype from Carl. I lost my horrible gun prototype along the Orion Causeway. I think I dropped it when I was attacked by a monster along the way. If you happen to find it, please bring it to me at Joan Arms and Guards. And the Orion Road Monster. A ferocious monster known as Helmet Crab has been spotted roving near the Saffral Tower. Races from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. Good morning. You're certainly here early. Yep, just like we promised. I know it's early, but do you have any assignments for us? Ah, oh, music to my ears. Let's see. There's so many options. Go easy on us. Oh, hold on just a moment, please. Hello, you've reached the Bracer Guild. Oh, it's an incoming call from the White Magnolia. How unusual. I'm impressed you were able to reach us with that old comm equipment. What did you say? I see. That's definitely a major issue. Yes, I understand. I'll send someone over shortly. What's wrong? Another case? It could be a case, or just an accident. I'm not sure. Last night, the orphanage on the coastal road caught fire and burned down. N no way! Any idea who might have done it? That was the proprietor of the Minoria Inn who called. Are you too familiar with the Mercy Orphanage? Familiar? We were just there yesterday afternoon! Are the kids and the matron okay? That I don't know. We have to conduct a full investigation, and it has to be as thorough as possible. Would you be willing? Of course we would. Let's head over there now then. Good, good. Take care. Or we could just not. <laughs> we could just go do other things and not worry about the burnt down orphanage for now. <laughs> Like, for one, we were told about, uh, let's see where my requests are. A monster near the Saffral Tower. Yes, one of the other towers in, uh, Liberal that we heard about a long time ago, but have yet to see. This is the Orion Causeway, which leads out, uh, south of Ruan. This will eventually be the highway we take to get to our next destination. It's gonna be a monster chest. Nope, Deathblow 2. That's a quartz that prevents you from getting hit by a death effect, which is just the one hit KO that certain enemies can have in this game, which is annoying. Saffral Tower, beware of monsters. Also, I want to go over here because uh, this tower, the Saffral Tower, I think is the only one in the game that there's no real reason to ever climb it. There's no, nothing in the story will take us to the top. There will never be a request that takes us to the top, you know, like there was a hidden quest for the Amble Tower. Here's our monster. Oh, I wonder if there's a catch to these guys. Let's find out. Sure enough, they reflect physical. I had a feeling, just looking at them, I was like, I think I remember them having a catch. Let's see. Okay, they're, they're not particularly immune to any given element. Oh, they're bringing in palms. What bastards. Okay, all, yeah, all you guys get in the middle of my art there, dumb bastards. Hey. 
Rip. Gave me a decent amount of Sepeth. Wow, the sound effect on White Gehenna really goes and goes. And there's the Zero Type Test model. That's the uh, gun the weapon shop owner lost. So here's the Saffron Tower. There's a tear bomb. With a flowers clip into this chest. You have found disappointment. Yeah, I'm disappointed that Falcom let those flowers clip into that chest. So yeah, no reason to ever actually go in here. I did uh, recently read that there's a decent quartz locked in a chest in here, so I'd like to find that. Also, I'd like to follow up on a thought that I had in the Ambril Tower, which is uh, I made the connection about how um, the naming of the towers in terms of like a... Uh, they're named after their colors, which seem to correspond with uh, the names of certain types of uh, septium. Yismelis like Tower is named after the green septium, which is where Wind Sepeth comes from. And I wasn't sure if uh, there was ever like any more instances where um, the septium is named like that. But I did find one. I found one in a much distant future game that I was poking through. Where uh, it had a piece of equipment. A, uh, I think it was like a ring or something where it had a yellow stone that was described as being made of ambrol so that answered that question very neatly range one not what i wanted you found the ultimate treasure oxygen well yeah i guess that's true <laughs> i i have not detected the lie in that statement tear bomb it's empty. Treachery. Unfortunately, this is one of the towers that has many up and down paths, so finding the quartz I'm thinking of might be a bit difficult. It could certainly come in handy. It is one of the uh, better quartz in the game in terms of uh, using it for art builds. Hopefully it's near the top. Hopefully I don't have to go on a wild goose chase to find it. It could be in here after I beat these monsters. These guys, I'm pretty sure, explode upon death. I used arts because I didn't want to get close to them. Perfect. Yeah, there it is. It's Scent. Scent is a uh, quartz that... Um, does the exact opposite of cloak actually it uh it makes monsters uh notice you more easily so usually you think like oh that 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 sucks why would you want that well actually it's because it uh it comes with a unique line of sepith on it i think it comes with like three wind and two space i want to say i'm actually using it on joshua right now hot fried chicken you seem to be laboring under the hope that something else will magically appear in the empty chest let me quash that for you right now. Okay, now I need to find my way to the top, because why not? I guess we should see the top for the heck of it. Maybe uh, get a good look at what the uh, what the Ruan region looks like, sort of. But finding my way to the top is going to be easier said than done. This place is kind of hard to navigate. I think I might have gone in the direction that leads in a dead end. I wonder if like these two stairways, like one of them's correct and one of them's not. Maybe, uh, maybe the one I took was simply for, uh, finding your way to the scent courts. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should know better. I don't want to use white, uh, or white Gehenna anymore. It's so damn loud. I noticed that. It's annoying. We'll use Aerostorm. Unless, uh, let's see... No stone impact's big enough. Army boots. Useless. You came back. I knew you would. No. <laughs> it's not worth it. Stop falling for the trap. I think this is the top. Here we go. The roof of the Saffral Tower. Here you go. Yeah, coastline. Got the edge of the JPEG. Another pedestal. Oh, I think that's the uh, the Vereen Lighthouse in the far distance in that JPEG. How lovely. That was sort of worth it. Nope. Get back down there. Alright, let's get out of this stupid tower. 
we will see all the towers in the game. Because I'm pretty... Yeah. Going to the final one. The Carnelia Tower. That one's going to be uh, unavoidable. Uh, not related at all to the Carnelia book series. Coincidence. I think, anyway. <laughs> Unless something wants to come along later and prove me wrong. Let's see... All right, we're out. You always know it's over when you get to the first floor because the first floor is always a straight shot. Let's see. So that takes care of that. And uh, warehouse key. Okay, I can do that before we go to the orphanage as well. And, uh, oh, I guess I have to just give the guy um, his gun in order to get that checked off. Then let's go to uh, the port side, the south side of uh, Bo's, and we'll see about finding this dude's key. I think I remember this quest. This shouldn't take too long. This is a simple fetch quest. One of those ones where you just have to know where to go, and you can get this guy's key back. Although I think I'm going to have to talk to a couple of NPCs to get the job done. I'll be sure to note if uh, if I find any more examples where... Uh, so, like, we've already seen the example of um, Asmelus being used to refer to Green Septium. I found the example of uh, Ambrel being used for Yellow Septium. Or I guess, it, I guess it's kind of brownish as well. Whatever. But uh, if I see any other examples for, like, Carnelia and Saffrol, I'll be sure to note it. This is the guy. Excuse us. Are you Harg? Yeah, that's me. Oh, are you guys racers? Yes, that's right. Did you happen to lose a warehouse key? Yes, I did. I was working with the barrels around the crane the other day. I guess I must have dropped it somewhere around here. I was waiting around to have a drink at the Aqua Rosa. I probably dropped it in that area. That's really all I know. We'll go check it out. If you should happen to remember anything else, please let us know. Sure thing. See you later. So he dropped his key around the Aqua Rosa, which is this bar. So I need to get... No, not there. Is it... This way, I think? Will this let me... Yeah. Here we go. Hmm? There's something shining below us. He dropped it in the water. It's something in the water. I wonder what it could be. If Mr. Harg were here, maybe we could check it out. But what do we do? We can't exactly dive in to have a look. If we had something hooked to snag it, then maybe... There's some way we could fish it out. Some sort of fishing pole. Where do I get a fishing pole? Well, let's go into the bar. I think they have some. Check it out. There's some fishing rods propped against the rack. Do you think we could borrow one of these? We'll have to ask the shopkeeper. The bartender was on the first floor. Oh, right. Talk. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hey, we saw you had some fishing rods upstairs. Would you mind if we borrowed one? Oh, not at all. Just say the word, and you're welcome to borrow it any time. Progressive rod. Just bring it back whenever you're done. This is a very bracer job. Kind of feels like we're back and rolling, to be honest. This feels like finding a shiny rock. Or someone's lost cat. Hmm. Looks like someone dropped something. Check it out. It might be useful. Maybe we should pick up some kind of tool. Of oh, I know. Ta-da! I get it. You're going to try fishing it out? Isn't that going to be difficult? Just you sit back and watch the magnificent Estelle at work. Fine, fine. Do as you please. Snag the warehouse key. Check me out. I got it. Pretty impressive. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd be able to do it. Hmm. That's not really the same as congratulating me. But check it out! This looks like the warehouse key that Mr. Harg was talking about. 
No telling you how it got dropped in here. Let's bring it back to him. Okay. Do I have to return the fishing rod too? I don't remember. You would think it would stay in my inventory otherwise. I should probably return it. I don't know if it matters. And it's not like there are areas to fish. Talk. I've always been a fisherman. All of the fish in my store are caught fresh by me. I take a boat out early in the mornings. I'm not generally one to boast, but you won't find fresher fish anywhere else in Rouen. Okay, apparently it doesn't matter. If we're done using- oh, I guess it does. If we're done using it, we need to take this fishing rod back to the shopkeeper. What the heck? I just tried. Maybe I have to return the key first. Mr. Hart, do you have a second? About that key. Uh, well, um, we found something. This is the key, right? This is it. Yep, no bones about it. Hey, thanks you guys. You really saved my skin. Say, why is it all tangled up with fishing line? Huh? It's kind of a long story. Hmm, well, no big deal. I got a split. Thanks again. There you go. Now should I return it? Does it matter? Oh, or is there an option in his menu and I wasn't looking closely enough? Yeah, there is. Whoops, sorry. Oh, thank you. So did the goddess smile upon your rod today? That sounds weird. Just let me know if you get hungry. I'll cook you the best meal you've ever had. I wonder if you can actually fish with that thing. Maybe. I don't really care, to be honest. Let's see, where am I? It's easy to get lost in here. Alright, I need to give the guy his gun. Then we can leave town and uh, head towards... He head towards what? <laughs> I don't remember. Alright, warehouse. Oh, right. The monster quest and this guy's gun quest were two, and two for one. I forgot. Let's see, this is the weapon store. And here's our dude. I came here from Zeiss to do market research into orbital powered firearms. I think I've I think I've met this guy before. Not in this game, not in our playthrough, but given that he's from Zeiss, I think I've met him. Dorian Causeway is crawling with some extremely aggressive monsters. I have an extremely important prototype model that I was trying to work the bugs out of. Oh, I saw the bulletin board. So what you lost is this orbital gun thingy? Yes, that's correct. If you should find it, I beg you. Is this the prototype gun? Whoa, how... How did you get your hands on this? A monster near the Saffle Tower had it. It probably wanted it for the septium mechanism. In Adios' name, thank you so much. Oh, thank goodness you found it. And now we've fulfilled your request. Pardon us, but we must be going. Why are you in such a hurry? Please, at least take this with you. Attack 2. Worthless. Just a token of my appreciation. I wish you luck on your future endeavors. Thanks. There you go. All the bracer jobs done for now. Let's go report these to Jean. Then we can go check out those burnt orphans. Much obliged. You appear to have achieved your goal without injury. If you complete any other jobs, be sure to give me all the juicy details. Alright, moving on. Goodbye for now, Ruan. Let's see. Right, the Academy is... I always get confused which one is first in terms of order. The Academy or uh, the Orphanage. So Genesis is that way. We're going to have to go a couple of street, uh, screens before we make it back to the, to the orphanage. I'm on the wrong path, aren't I? Darn it. Getting confused with the, the next screen where you have to go onto the beach. Which doesn't make sense when you think about it. This one, right? Yeah. Why would they design the road like this? You'd think it would be easier to just keep constructing. You know, from this point right here. Wouldn't it be easier to just, I don't know build a road so that you don't have to go down onto the beach to continue then again uh the world not too uh, not too into any type of 
transport outside of airships. They don't really have cars or buses here. This is terrible. It's just gone. Well, who do we have here? Are you here from the Bracer Guild? Yeah. You're all from Minoria, right? Yeah, we came to help pick up the pieces. We were here last night around midnight, trying to fight the fire. As you can see, it could have gone better. So then, what about Matron Thressa and the kids? They're all fine, don't worry. <laughs> of course they're fine. Right now, they're sleeping at Minoria's Inn. Given the size of the fire, it's a miracle that no one was badly hurt. Thank goodness. Yes, at least that's something. We're here now to clean up what we can. How about you two? We really ought to check up at, on everyone at the end. Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Huh? Now that we're here at the scene of the crime, there's a lot that strikes me as weird. We need to find what clues we can before the trail goes cold, so to speak. I know how you feel, but this has to take precedence right now. Right. We're bracers, after all. We have to find out what happened. Right. So let's see what we can find. Looks like you'll have your hands full. Good luck. Alright, let's start the investigation. The sump seats around the table have been scattered about. There are a lot of things you can check around here. The herbs have been uprooted and strewn about the garden. Same thing. Same thing. Oh, I wonder if they count. Since the fire has burned so much, I guess the only thing to do is to rebuild. I don't know what Matron Thress is going to do. I mean, it's going to be really expensive. Man, I was in shock yesterday. I mean, seeing the sky go all red in the east over Minoria. I tried to get here as quickly as I could, but everything was already gone. So check the door. The door has been completely wrecked. Uh, it's all pitch black! Huh? What's wrong? Maybe this is just me. But does the hinge there look weird to you? Like it's been torn off or something. It does, actually. As if it happened before the fire started. I think there's one other thing to see over here. A milk tank has fallen on its side and is empty. Isn't it a bit weird that they have milk tanks? They didn't appear to have cows. Maybe I didn't look closely enough. The soil from the flower bed is all over the ground. Alright, let me save here. There's a chance that I'm going to be requested to answer something correctly as part of this investigation. What was once a wall is now rubble. Wow, this place is ruined. Hey, do you smell something strange? Yes, and I think I know why. Alright, we've taken a good look around. What do you think? I'm not sure to be honest. First off, the fire doesn't appear to have started in the building. And most likely started outside. Outside? Over here. It looks like this area is the point of the origin. Uh, where the wall collapsed? But how can you tell? Because the fire damage is worse here than anywhere else. Compare it to the areas nearby and you'll see. Oh, you're right. So it started here and then spread. You know what this means? Uh, well... Ah, it's arson! My thoughts exactly. That smell everywhere? It's some highly flammable oil. It's everywhere around here, so this had to be the fire's point of origin. No way! Plus, you don't think it's weird how everything outside is scattered around? Even the people fighting the fire wouldn't have done that to the herb garden. It's not a coincidence. Someone did this. Is that true? 
Pop into existence, Chloe. Chloe? I didn't know you were here. But why? Why would anyone do this? I have so many irreplaceable memories of this place. Why? How? How could someone be do anything so cruel? Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm just so confused. I... I... You're not alone in that feeling. I barely know the place, and this bothers the heck out of me too. It's hard to believe that anyone could be capable of something this awful. Estelle... But the matron and the kids are all okay, so we can be thankful for that, right? Thank you. That does help. I just started morning classes when the dean came to see me. He said that he'd heard that the orphanage was in flames. And while I was on my way here, all I could think about was, they're fine, they're alive. Idios was watching over them. Well, we heard that they're all at the inn in Minoria, safe and sound. We're just finishing up here, so we're planning to go see them. Do you want to come with us? Yes, I would like that very much. Alright then, to Minoria we go. And back on the seaside way. Am I going to be stopped here at the... Nope. Okay. Thinking of something else. So our duty is to now go to Minoria. And check on the matron and the kids. Which is the next screen maybe? Here we go. Not very far to go. So they should be uh, inside of uh, the inn. Let me check the general goods store. Anything new pop up maybe? Nope. You were selling the, uh, liberal news before, weren't you? Oh. Cool, this place has some uh, ingredients I couldn't get at a Ruan. See that I bought 99 of most things. But just that one, the salted anchovy. Whatever. It's only a matter of time before liberal news picks up on this and reports on it. Whoops, wrong room. They're in this one. <laughs> 